hope she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A cool kids gift to our community. Do you have a question? Um, let me think of one. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, what do you do in your recreational time? That's a good question. I... In the winter, I work with throwing pots and sculpting. That's good winter stuff. Don't beat on him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's got pebbles. It doesn't matter. In the, <laughs> in the summer, I garden, I golf, I love fishing. Um, we had a great fishing trip in Mexico. What kind of fish do you fish for? Primarily walleye. <laughs> so we go up to Canada. Um, that's something we. Oh, oh Lord, it's gorgeous. Take me my dad with you. My it's, dad wants to go up there for musky fishing. So bad. Yeah, musky yeah. fishing is a. Yeah, but they have a lot of patience for that. Oh, I love musky fishing. Do you? Yes. Well, we go up on Lake of the Woods primarily and fish. And then this winter we did some deep sea fishing again and got. And I can't tell you the name. They're about maybe 10 pounds. But no. No. And then we got a Maui Maui. What's and then that? we got a Marlin. How big is I this? This, <laughs> this is 12 inches. Okay. So they weren't that big. But the Maui Maui is about 36 inches. To, they're really good. Have you ever eaten Maui Maui? No. What do they taste like? I've eaten trout. Um, good. What they look have like? you had, oh they're gorgeous, they're like these iridescent greens and blues and they have a rounded head to them. Cool. Have you had like swordfish? Yeah. Um, I've had swordfish. Oh, I don't okay. know. I see them. Well the texture <laughs> on swordfish and the texture like on tuna is different than you would have in a walleye. Mm -hmm. And a Maui Maui is a similar texture. And then the marlin was probably about 110 pounds. Whoa. Wow. So How'd you pick it up? It's that way. <laughs> Last time I went fishing, I caught a tree branch, um, some roadkill someone tossed in, and. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's the good. Last time I went fishing, I caught a clam. <laughs> Oh, have you ever caught the crabs? I love it when you've got the minnow out there and all of a sudden you pull it up and it's got it in its little clipper. Well, my dad and I caught an alligator up in Florida. My dad and I thought Florida. My dad and I thought we had a snag. My dad got the line back in and there was a clam attached. Oh yeah. I caught a baby shark. That may, that's actually a good thing because that means that you. Um, I assume you were walleye fishing. Uh, no, we were just down at Goose Island just okay. fishing for anything. Because the mistake that people often make is they don't get their bait down where it needs to be for walleye. So, um, so I do those things. I mentioned the gardening. I mentioned the fishing. I mentioned the golfing. Um, those are those are favorites. Lately, I've taken up, and and this will go back to my father. I don't. I'm I'm really bad role models. I don't really exercise unless it's fun. <laughs> um, except that now I've taken up walking, and my motivation is, I get to the bottom of the hill, and the calves are being born, and it's really exciting. That's cool. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, it's way cool. Put your arm down so you can die. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> messed oh, up her thought process. I don't remember if it was you or somebody else, but did you say that you like skated before or something? Skated? Uh, I must have been, I don't know. It was somebody, was somebody else before. because what yeah. I used to do in terms of skating was, you know, the lake, how they'll, they'll get the crack in them. And what we would do is take our skating. Our, our blades and we'd wedge them in there and we'd tell car goes by and then pose uh, because I was never really actually good at skating so <laughs> that is an insult to me <laughs> <laughs> so I've been an ice skater for 8 years I, saw, I didn't remember if it was you or no I just I don't it was never a talent that I had 
you know, you do things, the, the, that again is some physical talents that just are not my strong suit. <laughs> I do things, I enjoy them, it just doesn't mean I'm any good at them. I learned a le lesson from skating. Hmm. Oh God. Don't jump on the ice. <laughs> they crack on you? Oh, that's what I'm best at. I broke. I mean, I, I, I didn't break. I <laughs> it broke and it, what is it? The Where were you? Uh, on Mississippi River. Mm. That's no, unsafe. Currents and everything. That hurt. That's that's not how old were you? Uh, eleven. Somebody else there? Uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> that can be uh, yeah, because you have that. Only my legs fell in. If you have the if you have the hypothermia, you have the currents. That's, those are those are different issues. So yeah, I mean, again, I only do things that have been fun. So yes, I've been parasailing and what have you, but it's all because it's fun. Mm, I never knew oh, that's fun. You never mentioned it. That's a that's <laughs> a good asked. time. That's a lot of fun. That would be an odd question. So have you ever gone parasailing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been in a submarine? Have no, you? <laughs> I yes. have not been a submarine. Do you wish you were? <laughs> we got to love to you on top of it. It wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, being on boats is interesting. Flying is interesting. Well, when I was younger, my brother-in-law had a little cub two-seater. And so he'd land out where we lived and then we'd put the sides down and, and go up so you could lean out over the side of the plane and look down oh man that was neat. Do you like asking very vague questions? Do oh. I like asking very vague questions? No we do. Oh. Yes. Oh. That's actually quite fine you know why? Because I'm not much of the detail person oh, so vague questions are, are good by me. Um. I'm going to ask the question, it's kind of random, but Make my, all of our questions have been. Uh, <laughs> I have my, not. <laughs> my friend asked us to have one of the other ways. Um, she asked how you feel about this project. It's interesting. I think it's a terrific idea. Uh, first of all, you're using a myriad of skills. You're using your, your technical, you're using your interview. Uh, you got to do all the planning uh, for this. But secondly, you have an opportunity to have a different kind of conversation than you might usually have. And I would guess that with the persons that are being interviewed, you're getting different views. Um, people who are in different directions, different ages, um, different fields. And I would think that would be interesting. Are you honored to be doing this project? Oh, yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. And I've been... Oh, yeah, we should probably go scan. <laughs> we just come up with more random questions. Six and 58 seconds. And I have back off. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm counting. Uh, Shh. Is it fun living in Wisconsin? Is it fun being in Wisconsin? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I've been in the Midwest for, I mean, essentially my life. The probably the only downside is the sort of what I've referenced a number of times. I would love to live in a number of different areas because those would be different experiences. Mm, you just can't get it all done. Are the fun of living in the Northwest is the weather? This podcast brought to you from across Wisconsin by the Cooler Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.